Hi everybody, it's Mark here from Cafe LA. Uh, welcome, and uh, the shop is shut at the moment because of lockdown, but we thought we'd better come in, just check the equipment over, which we do quite regularly, but also Claire and I fancy a decent coffee, so here we are. But we also thought we'd just do a brief series, really, on uh, maybe just a small article on each of the coffee drinks on our menu, just so we can explain kind of what each one is, how we make it, and hopefully demystify the coffee shop menu a bit in case you're, uh, you're quite new to this. Um, it might be useful. So we thought we'd start today with the espresso, um, the espresso being the uh, foundation of all of our coffee shop drinks. You know, the double espresso goes into our lattes, our flat whites, our macchiatos, our cortados, everything, even our mochas. So the espresso is the basis of all of our drinks, and this is our espresso machine here. So how is an espresso made? Well, basically it's incredibly finely ground coffee um, we'll show you the grinder in a second and then we, we finally grind the coffee we tamp it down and then water is forced through that bed of coffee at incredibly high pressure like nine bars of pressure which is 130 psi if you think your car tires are pumped up to about 30 psi you get an idea of how high that pressure is and in so doing the water is just going through the coffee at incredible uh, pressure, extracting all the flavours from that coffee very, very quickly. Um, so in around about 30 seconds, you can get a very intense and full-bodied and very flavoursome coffee, which is faster than any other brewing method. But it's not new, it's been around for decades, obviously invented by the Italians uh, many, many uh, years ago. Um, to which end, our machine here is from Italy, it's uh, Nuova Simonelli, and Simonelli have been in the espresso machine game since, I think, 1936, to give you a feel for it, so it's, it's been going for a long time. So, uh, yeah, the espresso, as I say, the foundation of all of our drinks. Now, you can, of course, drink an espresso in isolation, and by the way, it is espresso, not expresso. Uh, like all good relationships, there are no X's. Uh, in coffee, uh, but it's an espresso. You can drink an espresso uh, just on its own. It's very intense. Um, it's a very kind of powerful coffee. Um, I, I personally love it, but it's it's not for everyone. Um, but as I say, it is that foundation. So, and then double shots go into all of our coffees. Um, if you prefer a weaker coffee, we can make you a single espresso. We'll put a single shot, of, in other words, into your coffee. But what we do, we just brew it as a double shot, just as we normally would do, um, so that you get all the flavour, um, all the correct uh, kind of variables going on there. But we just tip half of it away, and then you get a less intense brew as a result. So, shall we go ahead and brew a coffee, Clay? I think we should. I think we should. All right, let's have a look. Um, so I'm going to run some water through uh, the brewing head here. That just brings the brewing head down a little bit because the water from the boiler is obviously boiling, but the, um, the te temperature of the, the water for coffee is about 90, 95 degrees. We're going to grind the coffee, as I said, fresh just for your drink, because fresh coffee is better, basically. And this is roasted for us by 200 degrees in Nottingham. Uh, our house blend is the same as the house blend in their shops. Uh, the 200 degrees Brazilian love affair. I'm tamping the coffee there. And you can see we've got this sort of even bed there now, um, but we've just pushed the air out of the coffee. And what I'll do is I'll brew it into a, uh, a glass here so you can see what's going on. Let's start the process. And our coffee machine's programmed to just deliver uh, a set sort of defined volume of coffee. You can see it just starting to, um, they call it rat tails when the coffee's curved in like that. There you go. And the coffee will change colour slightly as different flavours are extracted. Okay, but with the glass we can really see what's going on. As I say, this will take about 27 seconds. There we go, machine stops automatically. Now you can see this coffee was roasted very recently, so you've got this really thick crema here. Uh, just like a pint of Guinness really, if we left this for 90 seconds or so, um, the crema will settle down a little bit uh, and it will become a little bit, bit less lively. But that is just carbon dioxide that's released. Uh, normally now we just give that a swirl, mix it all together, and you've got the basis of a, a really beautiful double espresso. So there it is.